so today what we're going to do what's what's the important thing we're going to learn today guys is out of their drop fade awesome so all we're going to do we're just going to drop it and we're going to keep the outlines yeah i mean one thing it is a little bit light around the outlines so we might not get the cleanest yeah as if i want it to be maybe a bit heavier but we'll just have to see once we start fading it should darken up a bit more but you can see it's a little bit patchy you can see that yeah, so we're going to have to control that a little bit. So is that the idea of a drop fade, to fade but yeah, leave out I mean, the only, the only problem against it with the heads, you can see here, is a little bit patchy. So obviously we yeah, want to keep... Yeah, yeah. yeah, but what I mean is they had it cut two weeks ago. So generally, you probably want it to be a little bit more solid. But hopefully, once we start doing the outlines, it's going to show up more. Yeah, because we're going to show up. Uh, what, what we're going to do, we're going to do the fade normal. Here it's going to be normal, it's just here we're going to curve it. Around. So you can go flat. Yeah. Just around here. Call it a drop fade. So just there and we're gonna come in a little bit. So he's he's happy to do to do a change. You've got product in the top. Yeah? Cool. The sides are alright now, but we can do the sides and I'll it's quite high anyway, I don't think the two's gonna take much off. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get you're always hungry. Oh, I'm just hungry to learn. No, I'm just hungry. I want some food. <laughs> no, you can have. We'll have a, we'll have a, we're gonna have a longer break today. We're gonna have a longer break today, and you can do it. Yeah. Why don't you eat when you first? When you're standing outside the door. I don't know. Cause I'm not hungry. I'm only hungry. It's true. You're always the first one here as well. Always hungry as well. That's the big because he gets here so early, he burns all that energy in the morning. No, I've always been there. <laughs> no, I, uh, I go to the gym for an hour before I come here. You should come to the gym with me. What time do you get to the gym? About 8.30. He's not going to go to the gym. It's too early for him. Unless I have food there. That's, that's too early for him. No, I'm up at 6 o'clock. You can get a protein nah, he's, shake. He's an early, he's an early person, man. I'm up at 6 o'clock. I'm staying with my nan. Oh, yeah. Every day he's here early in the morning. They come to the gym then. Does she wake you up? Yeah, six o'clock in the morning. Whatever, without fail. Yeah, but like I'm in the shower at eight o'clock. She's banging on the door. You're gonna be late. Who was that? It's what time I get no, she's saying, it's, it's someone. someone. <laughs> you I'm not. Oh, I go back Cool. So, what we're gonna do, guys? We're just going to go over our two quickly. I don't think a lot's going to come on. Do you want this sort of thing to be dark? Yeah, like I'd, I'd rather if I was gonna do this, I wouldn't do it in blonde hair. You can, but what's the outline gonna look like? You wouldn't do it on blonde hair. Not really. I mean, I think personally, when you, you can fade blonde hair, but it's always gonna look better on darker hair face. Yeah, I've got some custom ones. You can do it. And the other thing, when you're using light hair. You don't need to, sometimes yeah, you don't need to go in between the guards as much, you know, at the bottom. Because, yeah, yeah, it fades out a lot easier, naturally. And otherwise, if you, if you wipe it out, then you lose the fade. So, whereas with darker hair, you've got to work more with the contrast. Listen, fading's an illusion, yeah? It's just about distributing darkness to, and lightness. You know what, I hate them grainy things. I hate them. Much. What, when it's stretched, airbrushed? Yeah, just grainy, it's disgusting. It's like, well, you should just get number one, mate. Yeah. I mean, dark hair, don't you think dark hair you just get a better finish with dark hair compared to depends, blonde hair? It depends, it depends. I think, I think you have to be next level to do a perfect fade on blonde hair. On what? On, yeah. on blonde hair? Yeah. I think it's easier. I think it's just easier to do it on blonde hair because it fades out easier. I mean, you, you've got to have a certain technique to get that perfect finish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're using the seniors as well, slightly different clippers. 
And the difference is with these clippers is, same thing as the lad then, you've got a, the lever stretches a little bit longer than the normal clippers. I prefer the levers on that as well. So, not a lot to come on. But we've just got a little bit of our outline. It's a lot more difficult to see that guide like outline on blonde hair as well. Yeah, isn't I mean it? we're gonna I mean we're mainly gonna use the two around here as our guide. I mean here we're gonna make it in the end, so I'm not too worried about the art. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna outline it a bit. Does anyone know why I'm doing the outlines now? So it's easier when you do your thing. Yes, yeah, so I can see what I'm doing. I mean, I know a lot of people that fade and they'll actually do their outlines first and their shape up. And the reason why is because they say it's easier to see what you're doing. When you've got the length, you can see the regrowth. So it's different, there's split opinions on it, but, but I think you can do it. You can use both techniques. But with this type of fade, you can just see better once you've done your outlines. I sent Jason that video of him with Pat Hayes today and he was so surprised. Well, what did he say? He was asked a good haircut. <laughs> and I was like, maybe you should come and learn, and I might get a good haircut. Like <laughs> <laughs> you told him. Uh huh. I thought he can't have been happy about that. Does he think he's really good? What's that? Does he think he's really good? No. He must be good. He must be good, Jason. Scissor cuts must be really good. He's, he's, yeah, his scissor cuts are good, but his, his clipper work into scissor work is terrible. What, he's blending in? Yeah, it really annoys me. And what don't help is he gets really lazy with my hair. <laughs> and I'm just like, mate, can I cut your hair next? Cool. Yeah. You're coming? Yeah. Well, have you lost some clips? No, I just have to figure out where I put them. I have CRS. No. I suffer from CRS. CRS or shit. So I suffer from that as well. What does it say again? What have you got? He suffers from CRS. CRS. What's that? Can't remember shit. <laughs> I think we all suffer from that. At what least is, once in your life. What is the difference between this haircut and the one you did yesterday? We're gonna just change where we put our zero line. So we're just gonna. It's a little bit more. It's a little bit more creative. Yeah, he's doing a different. So would you not want to follow? So you see where you've done the your line. Yeah. Would you not want to follow the fade line? Oh, okay. the, the line that's already there. Do you say? Yeah, it's it's a drop, so you're drop so you're you're gonna do a drop yeah. fade now, which is yeah. yeah I'm gonna burst it around right there. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow the two up here. It's just more this curve here that I'm gonna change. You can see that he had a fade here though. Yeah, we can see it. But then once we start fade, that's what I was saying about it's not as dark as I wanted it to be. Okay. But hopefully when we fade it, it should balance out. Okay. But like I said, I would rather it would be a little bit more thicker around there as in so it was a bit more pronounced. Yeah. But I think Jordan's a big fan of this thing. Yeah. Now we do a lot of them nowadays, yeah. But the thing is, a lot of people, it's just, should I tell you what it is? When people go and get their hair cut, they want something creative, like something different sometimes. Say so you get a skin fade, there's different ways of doing it. You can do like a burst fade where you just, like what Mike did yesterday, if you saw, where you just, where you blur, blur at the back and these bits. Yeah, yeah. yeah but some if people you do like them. Well, they're, they're good. Yeah, they can look good. Some people like them. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to come in and we're just going to literally take our zero line. You're gonna foil this as well. Yeah. <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's just a random guy. <laughs> so, foil fades are, or you incorporate foils into all your fades. Yeah. Not always. I can do it without the foils. So I can do it, it, do it without. It's just a, something that. Depends what the customer wants. Really. Yeah, it depends what the customer. I mean, listen. Some people it's a bit scary to go down to a total, total zero. You know. 
But some some shops think a skin fade is just the big the big tip off. Yeah, I know. We're, we're yeah. Just, it's, yeah. Well, it's, it's a zero, 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 zero fade. Yeah, it's a zero. That's a zero, not skin. But, but it's, some it's, some people think they think it's, it's, it's a skin, skin fade. Yeah. yeah. No, that's it, okay. It looks it's it's like a taper fade. Skin's either blade or foil, isn't it? Zero. Yeah. But to them, that, that, and then some people's skin is from the little tip off. Yeah. Trimmer, yeah. 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 Trimmer's like. A, if I want that be a super zero. It's a, it's a fine zero. It's fine just because they know it's easier to do. So like now, I can I can kind of curve around and follow that two line. So I've got the shape of where I want it. How are you finding the seniors? Are there many, much different to the other uh, regular whiles? Oh, I mean, they're, they're, same, they're same sort of thing. The same thing as like the magic. <coughs> Do you ever get clients coming and say, like, now zero into a one? Yeah. That's, that's just because they don't know what they're talking about. I said that yesterday, can I have a one into a two? Yeah. I was like, is that anyway? So I, I get some people are like, now zero into a half into a one. Into yeah, but I was like that when I was a kid. I used to, I used to go in. And I used to say to the bar bar, can I have a zero going into a two or a one? I didn't know what I was talking about. I used to just go in there and say it because I wanted to skip. Because I used to know that they used to start off with the two. So I used to be worried that in case someone does it and doesn't know to start off, I used to always just say the guards. But really, they must have just thought, this, this kid's a prick. He's coming in <laughs> telling me, he's telling me what guards to use on my hair. I had kids do it before. They'd come into the shop and they'd say it, and I'm like, it's all right. I know what you're asking for. I know what you're going to do. Sorry? I'd have kids do the same thing. It's like school, 15 year old boys, they come in and they do the same, like try and dictate the haircut to you because they've seen something on YouTube or they've seen something on Facebook. Yeah, and they're trying to tell you how to, how to, to do the haircut. Yeah, like, and how come you do it like that? Because you, did you miss the beginning of it? We're trying to hold the outlines. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're changing the face like that. So it's just drop, drop face. So I'm just using my mirror now so I can line up how I'm doing it. Yeah, symmetry, I guess, gets to be yeah. a bit of more of a challenge, doesn't so it? I can see, so I can see my curve. Some people will just do it in this line. No, because they say, no, we are going to use the sneakers as well. No, they'll definitely want you back. They'll just talk to you back. Especially if Trump gets in. Oh my god, now there's new scandals last night. Yeah, I was watching that. He's been groping women. Has he? Apparently. Yeah, not only that, he said the wrong election day to go out. He raped. Either raped or something came out. Where two ladies have come out and said, um, oh, I missed that one. Well, he definitely said he didn't do it. He lied. Yeah, because if one minute he would be like, yeah, I touch women, and then next, like, the next time he'd be like, I never said that. Like, it's not the first time. I mean, Bill Clinton, of course, right? That's one of the scandals. But yeah. more presidents. Look at, look at. Did he actually do it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he got called the Monica Lewinsky. Oh, yeah. oh she's yeah. like, no, she's a big girl. She's not a non-really. They were having an affair. Marilyn Monroe and John F. Kennedy. Yeah. I mean, this is... It's been going on forever. I wonder what they're going to say about Obama. He's perfect. He can't do anything. I think Michelle... Obama and Lil' Kim. Michelle, Michelle, no, Michelle wouldn't... Yeah, looking good, Pat. She would run him over in the presidential... Right. So I can imagine some people wanting to rock, rock it just like it is now. So, as in it looks pretty smooth, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks pretty smooth. But now, we're just going to put our detailers through and blend it out. So, when you get the detailers, but I'm going to control it a little bit more than yes. I'm not going to. I'm trying to. I'm not going to go over my detailers. What do you think all that colouring from like the beard and the shape up? Oh what the crayon things where they do the shape ups. No, I'm not talking yeah, that yeah. but also the um you just yeah, spray yeah. you get a card and Oh, what, so you can see the outlines? Yeah, I think that's the thing, because when they go home and watch it... It's not going to be there. Yeah, I mean, they use, a lot of that's, a lot the of that's being used yeah, now, yeah. And they're doing the, the, yeah, the spraying... So look. The beard you can, or... Um, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, so it's like they're filling in their beard like they're all doing that. Yeah. 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 I, I want to run. Um, Seth Curry's got one. Yeah. You go out in the rain, though, and it's going to run down your face. Yeah, it's going to run down. So, look, you see here? Yeah. Dude, it was hot and stuff. Could be from foils in the past. What I'm trying to do, though, I'm not going to go over my detailer line because I want to condense the fade, yeah, a little bit. So you can see it. So I'm trying to blend it out into my zero, so I don't have to go over it again. And then we're going to do the foils. Cut them out. Yeah, cool. Then you sit on the train every day. What about crowns being taken off? That's even worse. Why do you think they take the crowns off? Because they can't, they don't know how to It's easier. Yeah, because it's easier, they don't know how to connect it. You know like what you were saying with Jason, with um, not being able to... No, I'm not talking about you in general. So, like, you know like Jason, what you were saying, can't... He says it works, clipper works, not good. It's because it's the connection that they struggle with. Do you know what I think with Jason as well? He puts in the hairdresser, he'd rather try and do it with scissor over comb. Yeah, but then that's the problem. They, they, he's relying too much on one technique. When I first started working with Jason, he would do like a number one. And then just scissor over comb it out. Yeah, but I'm just like, mate, that is the worst way to do it, number one. Because it leaves it heavy. Yeah, and it's not even that. It leaves like a massive line where the two should be. Yeah. And that's what he does. And I, like, before I came here, I was trying to show him the clipper over comb technique, but he's like, Basically the same thing as his over home. But what, what I find with that is it leaves less work. His fingers like, hurt much and it's like you get the haircut done twice as quick rather than trying to blend it straight up. Because he what you do here when you pull up, we don't do that. <coughs> so the detail, you've stopped just a bit short to so sort of blend? Yeah, I've, gone, I've gone underneath the zero, yeah, because I want to blend it out. Yeah, and then you can't see a light. You can't see a light. I'm trying to help you not save time. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> you got yeah, this is perfect. So, so this is sort of starting off blending down rather than blend up. Yeah, yeah. we're not going to take. I mean, these. This is what I mean by I want to be intricate. So I'm only going to go really low. And you're going to sort of blend this into the detail. I'll blend it here, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. But I'm leaving a big distance because that's where my zero is up there. The main aim, guys, is so you can't see any lines now. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get Jason to come as well. Huh? Yo? I'm going to get Jason to come as well. Then to come? He, he would have taken that all the way to the top. What the detailers? Yeah. These. So these you're stopping just kind of about where yeah, your de detailers. A bit, a bit lower than the detailers. I'm blending in. I'm almost doing it like a taper. You know how you taper the back of a neckline? I'm doing it like that. C motion. Yeah, C motion. Because if I take the detailers all the way up to the line, this first vein's going to end up up here. It's going to be too high. You want to condense it, and plus we want to keep that weight round here. So you're going to do your your cook. Huh? You're going to do your cook with your heart. Yeah, no, I'm going to go straight into the 025 now. Yeah. I don't no, need to do already zero. Blended the zero. I've already done the 0. You've done the 125 and then a half. And then a half, yeah, yeah exactly. There's different ways that we fade. I've got about three systems I use. I quite like this though, this makes sense. As in, you've already put the zero in, so starting to taper the detailer a little bit underneath that to yeah. blend it in, and yeah. then the foil a bit underneath. We used to do the foils first and then do the detailers, yeah. but do you know what the problem is? You end up with a. It was a lot harder for students to get rid of that line. We were finding it was they were struggling to get rid of the lines. Because the problem is, if you don't flick out the detailer, if you don't flick this out mm -hmm. into what you're working with, it's impossible to go with the you details. Need, you have to man. flick it out. Yeah, you have to flick it out because otherwise, what they kept on doing was stopping and leaving a line all the way around. Where this way it becomes smoother. Because this is so short, it's literally razor. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I do, I do, I can do this as well with just a straight razor and not use this. But it's quicker, I, I, I think it's quicker with that. But the problem when you do it with that is you've got to choose whether when you're going to put your when you're going to do the razor. Is it going to be after the fade or before? Because if you do it before and you wet it down a little bit, it's a bit, it's a lot of hair to take off. And suddenly it's all wet, and then you're fading over it. You just, you just, um, what's the word for it? You scraped all that skin, and then you're going to start fading on it. It's, it's not a nice look. So now. So when you're doing your 0.5, you're not finding pointers to do 0.5 on that and then do the 0.5 on that. 
Yeah. Big one. Yeah. Oh, what? No, I don't do the 0 0.5 on the gods. You don't? I only do 0 0.5 of this. But do, you not, do you not find this like a slight little land? No, we used to do that. No, we do two ways. We either do the 0 0.25 the way and then at the end we do, yeah. we do a 0 0.5 on the line. But it's... If you do the zero two, if you do the zero five here, yeah, the zero two five will go up enough to wipe out the zero line, so you can't see it. The zero five is just slight. You're going like half a centimetre just to wipe it out, just to wipe out, so that so it, it makes it easier for you to connect after. Are you not going to take that bit too high? What the zero five? Now you see now. Watch. Is that is what is that zero two? Now we're going to go zero two five. Okay. Yeah. So the important thing with the zero two five guys is. If you can still see your line on the 025, it's going to be there the whole thing. That makes sense. Yeah. What do you mean? If you can see your 025, if you can't see, if it doesn't look like a continuation now, it's going to be there forever. So, I'm going to come in. So, you're just using three teeth? Three teeth, yeah, because I'm curving round. So this one you can bump it up. Okay. You mean that clipper? This number, yeah. You want to bump it up, so look. So what did you, you mean about how, seeing so the Can line? you see now? This is what I mean now, watch. You can't see the lines of the other lines that I've done. So that means you're not going to see them. Okay. Because that means they're knocked out. If I've done my 025, but I could still see my zero line, and I could see a line, do you know what that means? I haven't, I haven't closed it enough. I haven't closed the guard enough. Because like here, look, it should look like a, what we call it, it should look like a continuation of your zero. And that does, you can't see any lines. And that's the trick. The trick is, is to blend out so you can't see the lines. Because the mistake that, and this is, this is the mistake that a lot of people do, when you wait to the end, it's a lot harder to find the line at the end where it is and where it's not. It's not you've been looking at it. Yeah, you've been looking at it for ages, yeah, and your eyes, your eyes play tricks on you. That's why what I always say is to look away sometimes while you're doing a paint. You can't, you can't see, you can't see the line now. That means I've knocked it out. It's not going to be there. And I'm taking this one up probably about a centimetre. I used to have that problem where I stopped seeing lines, but then... Yeah, but you know what? That can be when you're doing a lot of fades at the same time. When, when, you, when you do it in that quick way, so when you do it quick, you don't really... You're not paying attention yeah. to it as much. Yeah, yeah. and then you require yeah. the idea. You walk away from the haircut to check. You don't see the line. Yeah. Blend it up. And it's also knowing where you're putting your grapes. Listen, yeah. there's no right. I mean, if you lot want to, if you lot are comfortable with the way you do it at the moment, and you've got a technique. I don't mind you using your technique you use because, like I said, I, there's no right or wrong. I know I could fade up the whole way and then fade down. There's no right or wrong to how you do it. It's what you achieve, what you're going to get, your best feel. I change it with the hair. If I feel like I'm going to get a better effect with one system on a haircut. Like I said, if I'm using blonde hair, I might not do the 0 0.5 line after because I want to keep that weight there on that haircut. Whereas this hair, because it's dark, I want to make sure I've got rid of my lines. Because it's darker hair. See, what I find is when I fade when I that, Upgrades. So I do a one fade down, do two then fade down. The haircut goes higher. Yeah. So that, that's why I tend to just fade that like, how you're gonna fade down. Yeah. Yeah mate, it's controlling it. You know it you know what it is? If 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 I wanted to do it really low, I'll change it. I might use a different system, like if someone wants to have it really, really low, I'll adapt it to their hair. And that's what I mean by if they wanted it heavy, like a more I always, I always talk about um, hairdresser fades, yeah, and, and what that is, is like really heavy. And some people, they want it heavy, they still want it blended. They don't want it with a line though, but they want it heavy. I would, I would attack the fade differently, because that means that I don't want to condense my smaller guards. Yeah. Because I want to keep the weight of it. I wanted to show you a picture of that haircut that did, because it just, it really... Show me so I can see it after. Not now, do it after. Really really finish. Me as to how it's done it like that because it's so low, but in the way that it's so nice and splendid. I tried to do it so many times, but I can't figure is it out. On his thing is, thing is it, can be, it can be his angle. Do you know what the problem is? Certain angles they look perfect, and then you look at it in a different angle, like you say, and it, and it might look heavier than you can see, but the angle that you've seen it at 
makes yeah, it look it illusion, yeah it gives the illusion because i sit on youtube all the time on like instagram all the time where people put a fade but i've seen the fade being done here for instance a student might do and i see it on instagram and i'm like it looks really good but when i saw it live on the person see, i could see i, I could see mistakes i find it it's always better when i'm looking at it rather than yeah. thinking, should i tell yeah. you a trick to do if you're doing photos with it, start using your camera to look at your face, take photos, and then you can look and see where you need to work on. Yeah. yeah. Because then it will give you, then you know if it's going on Instagram. But the problem is, like I said, it might look good on the camera, but in real life, you might look at it. It's mad how that works. But in real life, it can look one way, and on the camera, it can yeah. look slightly different. So now, we've blended out our lines, yeah? So, I mean, I'm going to do a slight, slight 0.5, but when I say slight, I'm going to etch it now. Half a centimeter. And it's not a lot. All I'm trying to do. Is keep it as a continuation. I've, I haven't gone all. Because his ones goes open more. I've just closed it slightly. I haven't gone all the way open. That's. Yeah, so look, line, yeah. this is how, this is how I'm controlling it as well, where I'm not taking it too high. Because I'm literally bringing it up a centimeter up. Either way, I was going to do the 025, I'm either doing the 025 after or now. The only reason why I like doing it now is so that I can see what I'm getting rid of. Sorry, 0 0.5. Yeah, the reason why I like doing it now is so I can see what I'm getting rid of, whereas at the end I'm chasing along the line to look at it. Underneath that line just looks perfect, doesn't it? Already, yeah, you can't see, you can't finish. see a line. That's what this is what I mean. So, if the lines are out, you're, you're playing sailing at this stage. The job's already done, isn't it? Yeah, so you see the 0 0.5 that you used to put after at the end. It's, not, it's nothing wrong with doing that at the end. It's just now you shouldn't have I don't to. need to because I'm doing it now slightly, but I'm literally all I'm lifting, guys, is half a centimeter. And you're like using a C motion, are you? Yeah, slightly flicking out. Like I said, I just want to make sure it's clean. Yeah. I just cover that. Cool. All right. So. Yeah, I remember it then. Now we get to the little tricky. So far, we can agree on with that. Right, so now, what's my next card going to be? Going back up to 1.75? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Quite a nice fade, isn't it? Just because you get that strong line in the front, so you've got that kind of bold it's frame. Nice, especially, especially if people have got like light hairlines, yeah, you can actually do this, and it might not give you the definition of the line, but it just might make it look thick around the edges. Like it'll balance it out. Like some people have got finer bits. I've actually got it where it's finer, where it suits me having a drop fade because it looks e it evens out my fade. So now I'm gonna literally go one seven five. Have you ever come across someone with like a vein in the side of their head? Yeah. And it's with a vein? Yeah, and it's, it's impossible to fade that bit up. Yeah. Like yeah, there might be. Shadow, yeah, it might it might be blended out. But yeah, there's a line. There yeah, but you've shadow. also got like I showed you the other day the mastoid bone. Whereas when you like go, you fade when you're fading, you'd get a problem, wouldn't you? Because I've got the dips in there. Yeah, you'd have to go. You'd have to do your two low with yours. You'd have to come off low on that phone. Yeah. Your middle temporal bone. Do you know what I find that like, when? So you're you're doing a full guard. If you, so on your head, if you do like a half guard all the way around, so you're doing half of it, it blends into the corners. Say again? So for example, you see how you're going up? Yeah. What I would do is I'd do a kind of flip up, and it blends into all like, the dips and stuff. Yeah, no, you use your three corners, but you can do it on the lower guard. You don't need to do it. We call that technique, three teeth technique. To feather it out. Yeah. <laughs> <See ya. laughs>
Adam, <laughs> Adam, you're looking the wrong way, mate. <laughs> I was thinking, what are you looking at? Then we all turned around and I was like, oh. <laughs> I, I just saw cigarettes and I was like, oh. Oh, okay. I just saw cigarettes. I was like, I need a cigarette. That's what I saw. Right. So, I come in, I engage my clippers, guys, and I literally just work up. <laughs> Same here. Engage my clippers, work up. So I'm on a 175. Yeah? Mark's one's slightly different. It's the white guard rather than the purple. And this will be your purple guard. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Exactly the same thing. You get these with certain clippers. Like the Magics come with these. Or oh, these probably came with these, the seniors. No, we had to buy them. They came separate. To be honest, I bought, when I bought my Magics, they come with the premium guards. So. What ones? The ones with the metal, the the premium metal bits. Oh, yeah. yeah. So mine never come. Mine, mine come with, mine come with the premium guards. I got lucky with mine. I haven't started using them yet. Really? They're meant to be better, aren't they? Have you have you used the Wall Legends? I've got the Legends. They are sick. Yeah. They are. But they're bulky. Mike's got them downstairs. Someone's got them down. Yeah, yeah one of the students downstairs bulky. has got them. They're heavy because it's got V9 Phasma. The Legends. Not you, no, the other one, yeah, the student. Yeah. They're, they're basically like the icons. These are seniors, they're from America. They're similar to the legends, basically. If, if I'm going to use a cord clip, it'll be that one. Yeah, this one's nice. After using a cord, cordless one, any other one feels just too heavy now. Yeah, the only bad thing with the cordless is in a shop yeah, when you're doing a lot of haircuts. Yeah, they, you run out. And then you, you ruin the battery as well because you keep using it on charge. Uh, yeah, it's not that's good. why you've got to have two. Yeah. And people like plugged in overnight. I really like the super tape recordless ones as well. They're nice. I think mm -hmm. that, you don't like the super. Uh, I think for I normal keep, haircuts, like if you're doing a three, four on the yeah, back and sides, yeah. the, the basic cuts. They don't sound no, they don't. They don't. I the normal white ones, they're just good for basic yeah. hair cream. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what they're I really do? really soft with your clip rubber foam as well. Yeah, do you know what I do? I actually use, like these 175 ones, sometimes I use just the white, the white ones for the higher guards. Yeah. To blend in because the leave is smaller than my magic. Like I use both at the same time. One? Yeah. Yeah. Super tape. Have you seen the Sterling Force? The black ones. Yeah. 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 But they don't sell them over here, do they? Ah, they're my favourite too, brother. You can get them in um, Australia with the English plug. Did <laughs> so you get them with the English plug? No, yeah, I'm just going back in. I'm just doing my one and a half. Just closed. Did you want to have a five again? No, I'm just doing half, one and a half, one and a half. Just checking it. So, if you notice though, guys, let's look at the fake, yeah? Yeah, I want everyone to come from behind and have a quick look at this, yeah? So look. We've got, the, we've got the fade going on, yeah? Can you see this area here? So this is what we want to lighten up. We don't want to lighten that up. We want to lighten that up. That's the area we need to lighten up, yeah? So now, what we're going to do, we're going to go in and you're going to see as we go down the guards, like here, I'm going to use the corner of the blade. Almost like two, three teeth, yeah, to go around those edges. Then I'm going to come in at an angle. So I've got to kind of, it changes now, yeah? Because I've got to flick out here a little bit on this side because I've got this is where I want to keep my outline so up here I'm going to come in rock back rock my clippers back or scoop back whatever way makes sense to you the one and a half's not taking too much off so I've dropped it a little bit again same reason because of his clippers the lever's longer so I've learned to drop it and this is just rubbing on the line really yeah rubbing on the line yeah I'm going all the way up look I'm smoothing it out all the way up but if you watch I'm not destroying my two, I'm almost meeting my two. If I go square, the guards are gonna meet into each other. They meet each other. Now, what you don't wanna do, the mistake, when you know you're making a mistake, and that's is, if you create a new weight line, that means you've gone into your 175. The guards we used before, we don't wanna go into it. And the way to avoid that is just making sure you square up. Making sure you square up early, look, yeah. rub the line. Because here's where you want to take the weight out. You don't want to take weight about out there. You want to meet it. You want it blended in. You've got to go up to meet it. But <coughs> it's how square you go. If I go in at that angle and meet it, I'm going to wipe it out. That's the difference. It's all about the angle that you go with it. So, keep using your fading brush. Make sure you get rid of the hair. I mean, you can almost start seeing the blends happening yeah. already. And we're just on a one and a half still. <coughs> Rub in, square up all the way. Same here.
Yeah, so the legends, they're like the icons, yeah. but they've just got different, they've got crunch blades on them. So what the difference is, most of the wire clippers have got, they've all got V6000 mode, except for the wireless, because they're batteries. And the legends have got a V9000 motor, so it's almost double the power, but it's just the blades that are different. That's all it is, the blades and the lever, same with yours. These are V9000 as well, I believe, no? Yeah. Yeah. I think the best way that I've seen so far in London doing it is these African people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, see. <laughs> when, when they do the fade, they do it with the clipper. They just hold them and go, go, go. What are they doing with the clipper? I'm lost. I didn't get any of that. Like in the video show. Did anyone get that? Yeah, I got it. Got it. They, they fed like American ones. Yeah. Wiping off the crown. <laughs> they do. They do. Yeah, they do wipe off the crown. Actually, yeah. with all their hats on, so like they're wicked. Even then, they wipe off the crown as well. So that's the one and a half. So now we're going to drop it down to a one. Three teeth again on that. Three bit. teeth on the screen. In. Just to feather it in. Yeah. 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 I'm still keeping my columns the same, yeah. yeah? Once I've gone past this area, I'm still going straight up behind the ear, angle, angle. Columns are always going to stay the same behind there. The only difference is around here that is going to change. Making a note for the. He doesn't want one? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, what we're going to get next, we're going to get walkie talkies. Jacob. Oh, is it? Upstairs and downstairs, yeah. That's what we're waiting to get delivered to you. You can't give me a walkie talkie. It's really nah. serious. <laughs> <laughs> I would just mess about with it all day. That's more for upstairs and downstairs to communicate uh, when like, models come in and things like that. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be like Sierra Oscar. Sierra. Yeah, like, you know. Like, start definitely so everyone has to learn the phonetic alphabet. Yeah, exactly. Copy that. Yeah, copy that. So, you can start seeing the fade happening now already. Yeah. So again, round this area, we're just going to curve it round. Again, you can see where I said it's lighter, it is a lot lighter around there. So it is harder to keep the line, but we've done it. So you can offer this to people as well. Who wants to do one of these fades today? You can easily do a drop fade. You just, you just got to change the mind of the client. Simple. And how are you going to do that? Advise them. Obviously, don't do it on the wrong hair. Yeah, you've got advice. Body language, though, really. <coughs> what do you mean, advising? Well, no, if, you, if you're, if you're like, do you want a skin fade and you do that, you'd be like, no. Nah. Why would you do skin that? And you do that, like, yeah. Well, it depends on the age, too. Like, 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 you mean yesterday, he's like, mid 50s, and he was just like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Some people, some people book in 
me some people but not for the wrong haircut that they're yeah. not that they don't want to have done. Teenager. So I gave me one. So, what's my next card going to be now? 0 0.5? Yeah, 0 0.5. Fake though, yes? Fake, yeah. So this will be the green card. So 0.75. 0.75. Yeah. I'm just going to airbrush. A little bit of this card. So now, look, I really want to lighten up. I mean, I may even, this, this little corner, I want to outline it as well and still I might go over it. A little bit. I've tried to preserve it as much as possible. Yeah, so it doesn't wipe out. But you can see already, it is a lot thinner around that area. So there's only so much we can do with it. And the fade is sort of stopping at the top of the area. At the top of the side. The side no, of the I'm going all the way. Look. Oh, you mean there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It stops at the top. You want to keep it. You want to keep it stronger there. On our next guard, we're probably going to eat into that a little bit. Are you going to go down to a 0 0.5 on that? 0 0.625, which is in between. So you're not going to go down. Right. I, I won't need to. I shouldn't need to. If I, I might, we'll see. It depends on the density of the hair. Because I've done that zero. Because I've done. Because I've done the 0 5 before, I've kind of swapped that step. Yeah. I can do it the other way as well, but I've just swapped that step. If not, I would just go three teeth on the line, rub it out slightly, and then use a 0 6 2 5 to fine tune it. I'm just swap I've just swapped those steps around. So I've done the 0 0.5 earlier on. The object of a drop fade. What do you mean? The drop, the drop fade is supposed to be low, huh? That's what I thought. I'm confused. No, it's a low fade. What, what it is is keeping the outline here and it curves. That's a drop fade. So you can have different height drop fades. My, my idea of a drop fade you could, would, be, would be this. It goes that and it drops and you follow that shape. So the it does blend, drop. The it does drop. drop. It does drop. It does drop at the back. What you're saying is you want it, you'd say you'd be lower, yeah, you'd be yeah, even lower. That's, that's it's fine, you can go low. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's not, just, there's no There's no thing about height. It's, it's just how you drop it, it's, it's the shape. It's the shape, whatever yeah. shape yeah, it, the client it, it, wants. It's the shape. So it's just maybe that it's more common that it's low. Yours is almost to that because you're going arcing. And then Yours is like a medium going. fade. Yeah. You can do it even lower if you want, but the thing is if you're going to do foils, there's only so low you can go. Also, it depends on the haircut they had previously. Like this, this haircut, it was still relatively light at the end, at the, at the bottom. Yeah, exactly. So, you're not going to get a, a good of a fade if you have to go to the lower because the hair was much thinner because it had to yeah, cause of, especially because of where it was last time. We have, yeah. That's what plays you a part as well, it. where you take it. I've seen them go as low as fingers length around the ear and then following all the way down there. But that's because there was a lot of hair to fade. I always thought it was going to drop fade because it dropped to the back. No, the drops here, it drops. drops here, yeah. and then the drop at the back is normal. We do, we always do our fades to drop slightly at the back. If you watch our fades here, because we go by the head <laughs> shape, <laughs> we go by the head. Yeah, if if not, you're wiping off the crown. Yeah, you're always dropping the back. I, I ask my clients whether they want me to go straight across or drop it, and they always say straight across. So even on a high fade, like up here. My lines are going straight. I think that's because that's what they're used to in America. I don't know why that felt horrible. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so now I'm going to go zero six two five. I'm just literally going to use three teeth 
work for Lion. And look, I'm just going against the, the basically against the angle of the hair, the way the hair grows out. I think a lot to do with it is understanding what the customer is thinking as well. Yeah, of course. Customer directly, other customers have to go in. So he was telling me where to go. Yeah. Yeah, but it's weird. It's one of the customers that come here. Yeah. What's the same from here? No. Take one. We don't we only do same day appointments, but I have one client. What do you mean same day appointment? You can only book on that day. You can only book that day. So they have to call it starting at 8 30. Book your day up, right? You can't book the day before for the next day. Oh. Unless you're doing color. That's too challenging. Well, I should have shaped appointments. You can shape up to a week. You can set appointments for color, no limit, shapes up to a week. But I have one client who thinks he's just going to use it. Nice. It's looking good. Yeah, it's so, now, now I'm using now I'm using zero six two five yeah, and I'm just literally airbrushing where the line is. Yeah, see, I've got a fan that comes out. literally airbrushing with a light. Oh, yeah. Like, 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 so have you gone down to a half at all? Yeah, I've gone down to like a 0 to 65, but it's pretty much. I've gone under under a half now. No, sorry. It's it's about just a slight a slight in bit between, bigger between, than, a, than a half. Between, yeah, 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 exactly. In between. But it's if I close it that much, look, it's on a half. So I'm literally just there. It's only a little bit open. But look, you can see. Just wipe that line out. That's a nice way. Well, like I said, the only thing that upsets me is that because it's a little bit finer here, it's harder to get that <laughs> nice. That's what I'm saying about it's harder to get that nice shape. Well, I, I think that's, that's with any face that you like that. Yeah, it's harder because you change. Do you know why? Yeah. The process of your face changes on this bit because you're fading at a different angle. Yeah, that's always going to be dark. Yeah, and the other problem you get with people's hair is some people's hair grows back and then on the other side it can grow forward. Yeah. Totally froze your face. Like, you can do two good fades, but it's almost like two separate fades because yeah, the hair grows different. Like that, your hair, yeah. turn to one side, look, that's going forward. What's the other side of it? That's going forward as well. Both of yours go forward. It's quite rare. A lot of people. That's Only have the one, one side. Yeah, yeah, but look, like his, his grows, his grows back there. Yeah. And then grows forward there. It kind of goes forward, doesn't it? Yeah. Then it grows back there. Is it depending on the position of the calic in the back? I think it plays a part, but generally it doesn't. It's just, it's just their hair. It's just their hair. Some people have got a double curly, and it's perfect on the side. So, but I think. What about got a double one? Sorry, I feel like I got a I'll check it out after. I can't see now. You might have a double one. It does look like you got something going on there. Shit. I'm never getting Do you like it now? Yeah, I do. You gotta get a say if he doesn't now. Brace your forehead. Brace my forehead. No, I'm entering. Sultan's laughing at it. Cool. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna quickly high guard now and just go through some of my cards. Just fine tune the. I, you can high guard at the end. I'm doing it now because I just wanna speed up the process. And plus, look. 
Remember the two didn't take much off? Mm -hmm. There's not much to take off. And if you watch, I'm going to do a bit of clip over comb on this for you lot to see as well. There's not a lot to clip over comb, is there? There's not a lot of weight. So you're doing it now though because there was what, a little bit of weight or? Yeah, I just want to smooth it out that little bit more. So I want to go over the guards. So now what you miss, we're on a, we're on a three now. Just high guarding. Do you know what high guard guys it's a good way it's a good way to like kind of fine tune your haircut and it kind of saves guard you. I mean if, if you struggle with clip over comb especially if you struggle if you struggle with clip over comb what this does is safeguards you because you can't really make a mistake but you can make a mistake guys because what happens if you go in with clip over comb and you wipe everything out? So you can you can make a mistake with it. You still got to be careful. <laughs> With the high guard, are you pushing in a little bit or are you still keeping it just square? Or? No, I push it in a touch. I, put, I always push the first one in a touch. I go square and then if it doesn't cut nothing, I go in a little bit. See, this one's not really cutting much. I'm going to drop in between. Now, what I was talking about, what I've been saying is that, look, it's like this. Even though I've high got it and everything I've done, I haven't got a load of weight. Can you see that on the haircut? And that's what I mean. Semi blended. Yeah, I try and do it so that I blend in, because that way I get an even blend. <clears throat> Dropping it, I'm gonna drop it down to a two. Set now. Dropping down to a two. I've dropped down to a two. And then I'm gonna drop down to. I mean, then I'm gonna go over my one seven five quickly. The two's not taking minimal. I've learned there's nothing. Two's fine. But I'm just safeguarding myself a bit. <coughs> now, <coughs> 175. So, this 175, because that lever's open, it's probably closer, because I've opened it totally, it's closer to a 2. So, now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just close it a little bit, and this is where I can go around and just refine my face. <laughs> Do you think like this way of doing it is a better way of doing it? How do you want to start with it? I want the face. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, would you reckon you're going to no, hold on? It's actually quite, no, it's actually quite, it's quite similar. Because a lot of the techniques. The thing that I'm going to need, I, I was just telling him that I'm going to incorporate is the two and keeping the weight. Because yeah. Because I, I don't do that. Yeah. And so now I'm incorporating it, but everything else, yeah. the three lines that you do, yeah. It's kind it's of like I mean, I mean, I, I watch a lot of the videos on people from Rokolat fade. It's, and there's one person that I like that does it, where he fades all the lines up, yeah. and then he fades back down. back down. The only problem with doing it is that it takes about an hour to do a fade. Yeah. Because you're fading what up. What do you mean he fades? Who's, who's, who's that? Up, he fades, like we fade the zero line out, yeah. he fades every guard out. Who's that? Yeah. Do you know who? And then he goes back down. Mate, it's wicked his fades. But you need, you even see it when he does a fade on the video. You need ages because you're doing two fades. Who's fading that? up? And then you fade back down. Who's the guy you talking about, Pav? He said the name. What was his name? Chuka. Chuka. Chuka the Barber on YouTube. Yeah, Afro-Caribbean, isn't he? Yeah. Awesome. But you know who the, who the best for fading up is? Vic. Vic Denham. Or yeah, is Vic it Damone? Damone. Vic Damone. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Timeless Barbers. Well, that's just like American Barber. Right, now I'm just going to drop it a little bit more. Again. Just controlling it.
That's it. This is now the one and a half here on this guard, just smoothed out. A few little imperfections there. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, hundred percent in North London. Yeah, I do. I always like your Turkish Nope. Because I'm Turkish, that makes me Turkish barber. Yeah. Like I'm Greek, they're Greek barber. Like, um, Zaki, it's Turkish barber. Okay, I'm Puerto Rican, German, American. It's weird, it's weird. We're weird over here, man. We just discuss this. Oh, really? It's because it's cause they expect like a Turkish barber to do all the. All the. Um, the beard thing. And yeah, the, the, the shades. He's got but he doesn't do that, though. Yeah, but that's what they expect. Uh, it does do shame. Oh, no. You know what? Lose the glasses. Lose the glasses, yeah. Yeah, but then I look too Indian. Then I get, I should go a woman's stunt kind of hair. Thanks very much. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this is just open now. Just fine tuning. She did. It's like the French flag, isn't it? Cool. They're extensions. I know, but she changed it. Yeah. Mm. We're talking about when they got here the other day. Hey, maybe that'll like, work for me. I like that. <laughs> <No>. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get extensions? Your, your tapes will be too visible. She can do it for you. Abby can do that for you. <laughs> Last five minutes. <laughs> Five minutes. Yeah. Let's do a, What about on Adam? Can we do him on Adam? When he said, How did say it was yesterday? Because you need a good two inches to move on. Because they fly. That's fine. I'll just get the glue ones. Keratin bonds, like Britney Spears did. That'd be yeah. hilarious. My, uh, nah, I know the guy that did her, her extensions when she went postal and shaved her head. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was You don't know on the spot, you ask them to come back the next day because usually they've done it because they're too young for us to control them in their life. They feel like they can't control anything, anything they can do. If she tried to grab my clippers, it's straight head on. So what are we doing now? Are you doing clipper over coat now? Yeah, I'll get in the head. I would. Don't, don't touch my stuff. Just, just a little bit of clip over comb, guys. To refine the shape. Just yeah. Let her touch her stuff. You would let her do whatever she wants. Me came in. Just having a chair. She could do whatever she wanted. No, I would. I would. If I touch my stuff, if she replaces it, then yeah, you can have it. They ain't touching my stuff. Literally, we're just fine tuning the weight line. So, all we want to do is just take that added bit of weight off. Tiny little bit. What we need to do is we want to redo. Are we redoing the line? Yeah, I just want to make sure it's nice and even before I do my flip over foam. Why is it important to make it nice and even now before I finish my flip over foam? Why is it important to do my line, make sure my line's thorough before I do flip over comb? Let's work later, so you don't cut too much off. Yeah, because if, 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 if the lines come out, which can happen during a fade, then you can create a massive problem for yourself. So you're still doing the three teeth? No, now I'm using the whole blade. I'm just swiping across. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Cool. Right. Still growing. No, that means he's eating empty carbs. Yeah, I was going to say, what did you actually eat for breakfast? Is probably the thing. That's oh, why. Need to get that <laughs> Need to get some porridge in you. Yeah, let's have breakfast. Need to eat something. Yeah. Yeah. Proper oats. <laughs> 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 